Alphabet Incorporated is an American multinational conglomerate headquartered in Mountain View, California. It was created on October 2, 2015, through a restructuring of Google, and became the parent company of Google and several former Google subsidiaries. Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the two co-founders of Google remained as controlling shareholders, board members, and employees at Alphabet. Currently, Alphabet is the world's fourth-largest technology company by revenue. You may be wondering how they got there. Let's find out in this video about Alphabet's company story. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. Alphabet Incorporated was established to encourage a desire to make the core Google business cleaner and more accountable while allowing greater autonomy to group companies that operate in businesses other than internet services. In December 2019, founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin announced their resignation from their executive posts. The CEO role was filled by Sundar Pichai, who is also the CEO of Google. Page and Brin remain co-founders, employees, board members, and controlling shareholders of Alphabet Inc. On August 10, 2015, Google Incorporated announced plans to create a new public holding company. Alphabet Incorporated Google CEO Larry Page made this announcement in a blog post on Google's official blog. The plan was to have Alphabet restructure Google by moving subsidiaries from Google to Alphabet to narrow Google's scope. The company would consist of Google, as well as other businesses including X Development, Calico, Nest, Verily, Fiber, Makani, Capital G, and GV. The product chief, Sundar Pichai, replaced Larry Page as the new CEO of Google, who transitioned to the role of running Alphabet along with Google co-founder Sergey Brin. According to Page, Alphabet is mostly a collection of companies. The largest of which, of course, is Google. This newer Google is a bit slimmed down, with the companies that are pretty far afield of our main internet products contained in Alphabet instead. Fundamentally, we believe this allows us more management scale, as we can run things independently that aren't much related. Page says the motivation behind the reorganization is to improve the transparency and oversight of what they're doing, and to allow greater control of unrelated companies. Former executive, Eric Schmidt, who is currently the technical advisor, revealed in the conference in 2017, that the idea of the new structure was inspired by Warren Buffett and his management structure of Berkshire Hathaway a decade ago. Schmidt said he encouraged Page and Brin to meet with Buffett in Omaha to see how Berkshire Hathaway was a holding company made of subsidiaries with able and trusted CEOs. Before it became a subsidiary of Alphabet, Google Incorporated was first structured as the owner of Alphabet. The roles were reversed after a placeholder subsidiary was created for the ownership of Alphabet, at which point the newly formed subsidiary was merged with Google. Google stock was then converted to Alphabet stock. Under the Delaware General Corporation law, where Alphabet is incorporated, a holding company reorganization can be done without a vote of shareholders. That was how the reorganization was carried out. The entire restructuring process was finalized on October 2, 2015. Alphabet keeps Google Incorporated stock price history and continues to trade under Google Incorporated's former ticker symbols, GOOG and GOOGL. December 3, 2019 saw the joint announcement of Page and Brin about their step down from their respective roles while remaining as employees and still the majority vote on the board of directors. As of September 1, 2017, their equity is held by a subsidiary known as XXVI Holdings Incorporated. This refers to the Roman numeral of 26, the number of letters in the alphabet. Because of this, they are valued and legally separated from Google. Also, it was announced that Google will be reorganized as a limited liability company, Google LLC. Eric Schmidt said at an Internet Association event in 2015 that at the end of the day, there may be more than 26 subsidiaries of Alphabet. He also stated that he was currently meeting with the CEOs of the current and anticipated Alphabet subsidiaries. Though many divisions or subsidiaries formerly a part of Google became subsidiaries of Alphabet, Google is still the umbrella company for Alphabet's Internet-related businesses. 
These include popular products and services that have always been attached to Google, like the Android mobile operating system, YouTube, and Google Search, which remain direct components of Google. Also, former subsidiaries include Nest Labs, which was fused into Google in February 2018, and Chronicle which was fused with Google Cloud in June 2019. The name Alphabet was favored because it meant a collection of letters that represent language, one of humanity's most important innovations, and is the core of how we index with Google Search. Also, because it means Alphabet, Alpha is investment return above benchmark, which is the fundamental goal. In a 2018 talk, Schmidt revealed that the original inspiration for the name came from the location of the then Google Hamburg office's street address, ABC Strake. Alphabet has obtained the domain abc.xyz with the .xyz top-level domain, which was introduced in 2014. However, it does not own the domain alphabet.com, as it is owned by a fleet management division of BMW. In the same vein, it does not own the domain abc.com, as that is the domain of the Disney-owned American Broadcasting Company. In its 2017 annual report, 86% of Alphabet's revenues came from performance advertising through user clicks, using AdSense, Google Ads, and brand advertising. Of these, 53% were from its international operations. This summed up to total revenue of $110,855 million US dollars in 2017, and a net income of $12,662 million US dollars. On February 1, 2016, Alphabet Incorporated beat Apple to become the world's most valuable publicly traded company. This was until February 3, 2016, when Apple reclaimed the position from Alphabet. Experts attributed the causes of Apple's poor performance to the lack of innovation, as well as increasing Chinese competition. By 2019, Alphabet was ranked number 15 on the Fortune 500 rankings of the largest United States corporations by total revenue. However, on January 16, 2020, Alphabet became the fourth U.S. company to reach a $1 trillion market value, entering the Trillion Dollar Companies Club for the first time. In November 2017, Alphabet Incorporated led a Series A round of $71 million, along with Andreessen Horowitz and 20th Century Fox and music startup United Masters, founded by Steve Stout. An analysis of the company's investments in 2017 showed that it was the most active investor in that period, even more than the capital arm of Intel, and also its best customer. Alphabet Incorporated acquired seven of its capital-backed startups in the 2017 financial year, with Cisco coming in second after acquiring six of the company's previous investments. The Flatiron Health Company provides electronic medical records and analysis to identify improved treatments for oncology patients. It is a startup founded by two previous Google employees and supported by Alphabet Incorporated. The company announced that it was to be acquired by health conglomerate Hoffman La Roche for $1.8 billion. All of these signs of progress didn't come without any legal burdens though. In 2017, Alphabet Incorporated charged Uber over technology similar to Alphabet's proprietary self-driving car technology. Alphabet's autonomous vehicle technology had been under development for a decade by Alphabet's Waymo, a self-driving vehicle division. The proprietary technology is related to 14,000 documents allegedly downloaded and stolen by a former Waymo engineer, subsequently employed by Uber. The lawsuit was eventually settled in February 2018, with Uber agreeing not to use the self-driving technology in dispute. They also agreed to provide Waymo with an equity stake of 0.34%, equivalent to about $245 million at the firm's early 2018 value. In October 2018, a class action lawsuit was filed against Google and Alphabet, due to non-public Google Plus account data being exposed. This was as a result of a privacy bug that allowed app developers to gain access to the private information of users. The lawsuit was settled in July 2020 for $7.5 million with a payout to claimants of at least $5 each, with a maximum of $12 each. The United States Department of Justice filed an antitrust lawsuit against Alphabet, 
claiming anti-competitive practices in October of 2020. On December 2, 2020, the National Labor Relations Board filed a complaint that claimed Alphabet Inc. conducted unlawful monitoring and questioning of several workers at Google. The employees in question were fired for unionization attempts and protesting company policies. The board also alleges that Google unlawfully placed employees on administrative leave and retribution. Alphabet Inc. has denied any wrongdoing and said it acted legally. Despite all of these challenges, Alphabet has continued to wax stronger. What do you think about the Alphabet company's story? What do you think they could do better? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.